Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am sharing with you guys my thoughts on the Forever Mood candles from Jackie Ina. I picked this up during one of the Sephora VIB sales and I love fragrances, all types of fragrances, be it body fragrances, fragrances for the home. If it's a smell good, I'm there for it. And I really love candles. So I decided to pick up this four pack of the Forever Mood candles from Jackie Ina. I really like the idea of this because these are four voltive candles and it reminds me of a discovery kit from a fragrance house. You know, for example, for House of Siage, before you go out and buy um, a, a particular cupcake without necessarily knowing whether or not you're gonna like the fragrance, they give you an option to purchase their discovery kit and they'll send you smaller sizes of their fragrances so that way you can pick and choose which ones you like before you fully commit to paying full price for the larger fragrance bottle. So in my mind, that's what this set was doing. It was giving me the opportunity to try out these fragrances before I actually committed to buying the larger candle. This set of candles is supposed to be a limited edition, but I do know that you can still pick these up at Sephora and I do believe on the Forever Mood website as well. And as I said, it's, it's like a sampler set, if you will, or a discovery set, because inside of the box here, you get four candles. Each one of these candles are single wick candles and each one is 2.5 ounces. This candle is also made of 100% natural coconut soy wax. The difference that I've seen with this soy wax characteristic is that the wax is very soft. In most of the candles that I own, if you were to touch the wax, the wax is it's quite hard. Whereas the wax for these candles, when you touch it, it's, it's very soft. One of the things I'm really liking about these candles is that I can place one of these on my vanity in my bathroom. I don't have to light it. I just place it there and the fragrance is there. It's not a mild fragrance where you're like, oh, you know, do I smell something? When I walk into my bathroom, I'm like, it smells so good in here. And that's without me even having lit the candle yet. When I am burning my candles, I always cut the wick down before I even start. For example, this is one that I've already burned. You can see that. I've used all of these. But what I do before I start, I take I take some small scissors and I clip the wick down. I let it burn for about maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and then I extinguish the flame and I just let it cool off on its own. The sillage from these candles, you guys, is awesome. It, it travels from the bathroom and finds its way into my bedroom and it smells so good. The scent of these candles, it's not a, I think I smell something scent. When you walk into the room, this fragrance introduces itself to you. It tells you, my name is Caked Up. My key notes are almond cream, honey, and vanilla bean. Smell, partake enjoy because it's there and I love that about these candles. I enjoyed the notes of all of the candles except for one and I will say that the one that I did not enjoy as much, it wasn't bad, I just didn't enjoy it as much, is Matcha Business. It's this one right here and the main reason for that is because I am not a lover of hazelnut and this candle has hazelnut in it. Matcha Business smells really, really good. As you can see, I have also burned this candle as well. And the sillage was just as strong, just as lovely for this particular candle. It's just that I'm not a fan of hazelnut. But for Matcha Business, the notes are hazelnut coffee and vanilla coffee. All these candles have that sweet gourmand type of scent. And the vanilla, I can, I can deal with. The hazelnut, not my favorite. But again, it burned beautifully. The fragrance was quite nice. The sillage was awesome. Another fragrance that comes in this set is called Left on Red. Love Left on Red. Smells so, so yummy. Burned it down wonderfully. I would say from all of these candles, I'm probably gonna get about five good burns from them. Left on Red is definitely a gourmand type of scent. And the notes are tropical fruit, coconut, and caramel. It smells so good. 
This one is called Cuffing Season. And this one is not a gourmand. I don't think it is. No, it is not. It is described as a fresh floral. And the notes for this is fresh ozone, iris, and Douglas fir. And this smells so wonderful. It's a soft fragrance. And when I say soft, I mean as in floral. But again, the sillage the fragrance from this candle is going to travel and it's going to make the entire area smell so good not only while it's burning once it's extinguished you're still going to smell this scent in the air again this set can be purchased for fifty dollars i think since we're getting four 2.5 ounce candles for fifty dollars that's not a bad buy and i particularly like it again because it's giving us the different scents and from there i can pick and choose which ones i want to buy a larger size of and from this set i think i have three favorites for sure one is caked up caked up is a gourmand scent with the notes of almond cream honey and vanilla bean Next up would be Left on Red. I definitely want to get a full-size candle of this one as well. And the note is Tropical Fruit, Coconut, and Caramel. And then Cuffing Season. Cuffing Season is a fresh floral scent. It has the notes of fresh ozone, iris, and Douglas fir. So these three would be my favorites. For matcha business, it smells good, it just has that hazelnut in it, so I'm going to have to pass on that one. But still, I wanted to come back and let you guys know about this, just to give you a little bit more of my thoughts on this because if you like candles I think that you should definitely give these a try. It also gives us another opportunity to support a black owned business. You can pick these candles up at Sephora or you can go to the Forever Mood website and you can make your choices there. There are some other candles from, from Forever Mood that I want to try out as well. I'm hoping that those come in a four candle votive set as well so that way I can try those out and then go through this same process to determine which of them I want to buy full sizes of. So yeah, Forever Mood from Jackie Ina. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.